Good afternoon, Sandy and Jim. It's Todd at Tom Bush Mini up here in Jacksonville, Florida in the wonderful rainy weather. Getting cold up here too, but I wanted to do a walk around video of the Mini Cooper convertible. And here it is. It only has 166 miles on it. So literally it's been driven once and basically is still immaculate. It's been in loaner status for literally just two weeks. Uh, what was it? February 17th is when we put it into service. But as I told y'all, because of the fact it being a convertible, it does not go out nearly as much as the uh, regular hardtop minis. Now, this one does have the comfort access. Uh, so what I wanted to do is show you a couple of unique features about it. Uh, mainly the top operation. If you haven't had an opportunity to see this before, you can actually raise this portion of the top by pulling up on this lever here and this lever here, raising this all the way up. Now I'm trying to do this one handed here, but you can see that I've got the stanchion up here now. There's where you can fold the seat back down and then this panel will actually lift up, go to the higher setting this high setting is literally where the seats would fold. So all the way through, you'd have that folding seat stowage there. And then right here is your uh, carpet mats. There is a wind deflector as well that folds up in the back uh, that is very, very functional, especially Sandy if you have long hair. <laughs> anyway, I put it back down on the lower sensor there that you can see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this top back down. So we'll click that in place, click this in place, because I want to show you the neat feature. Because it has comfort access, I can actually lower the top by holding down the unlock button on the fob. So literally press and hold here. First thing that's going to happen are the windows are going to go down and the sunroof mode is going to activate. So I'll show you that. That'll stop at that point, then I'll release the button hit the unlock button and hold it down again. And then the top will retract. This will give you a good opportunity to see the really, really cool interior this one has specifically. So here is the interior with the sport seats and then the upgraded digital instrument cluster here. Let me go ahead and start it so you can see what that looks like. And let me just click OK there, OK there. There's your navigation screen. It is a touch screen as well, so I can move it in and out here. Uh, then you have your menu button with all your different selections. And you can see each one has its own unique color when you click on it. So I'm click there. There's your AM, FM as well as Bluetooth streaming of music. And again, there's your Speedo, which I love, it's digitally represented there for you so you can see it clearly. On the right side is your gas. The left, of course, is your tack. This does have the upgraded Harman Kardon, which makes a huge difference. There's your controls here. The speak button actually works as well, where you can literally say drive to the nearest Italian restaurant by tapping it, or call Todd, or uh, FM channel 69.9, or what have you. Up here you have your BMW Assist. That's for four years unlimited miles, so it's roadside assistance. There's all your toggles, and then all your toggles here with a dual zone climate control for two vents here for driver side, and then the passenger side, each individually adjustable, heated seats. Again, fully loaded here. Um, this is your start stop, which turns off the engine when you come up to a stop sign or stoplight not a fan of that but when that lights illuminated it turns that off here's the automatic it's very unique how it works you actually press the button on the left side it goes back into drive you'll actually see drive located right there if I put it in reverse you do have the backup camera there with the sensors and as you can see when I turn the wheel it marries up with the red sensors there so now just press park and it's back in park uh, this screen will go out when I press the info button here, or menu button I should say, to go back. This also has 
the frontal collision warning and pedestrian warning. It does not have the braking, but it will at least warn you, uh, obviously, if you're getting too close to a vehicle or a uh, pedestrian runs out in front of you, which hopefully they won't do in the car. You have rain sensing wipers right here. You have also uh, automatic uh, high beams right here as well. So if I press that with the lights on, that'll come on. Your window lift controls, one touch auto down for driver and passenger. This will actually raise all four windows individually together. That didn't make sense, but you know what I meant. <laughs> Your door locks, of course, are on the door here. And then to close the uh, convertible top, we just press forward here. And as I continue to press it, you can kind of see the reflection behind me. And then it clamps back down and then the sunroof mode closes all the windows close back up it is cold here so that feels much better <laughs> let me get out of the car here again show you another walk around now the comfort access is right here as well so by pressing it it will lock the car pressing it again will unlock the driver's door you can program it to unlock both doors so this is our loan option available for you all here up in Jacksonville in the proper color of Caribbean Aqua. And you can see the daytime running lights there as well. You have LED lights below and LED high and low beam in addition to that. So let me just walk around one more time. Glass rear window with a defroster built in. And of course the parking sensors as well that are in the rear bumper along with the camera, which is right there. Thank you all so much again. I'm sorry for the long, long uh, video here, but I'm going to send it to you in a video link through YouTube. And please let me know what you think. And thank you so very much again for reaching out to us up here in Jacksonville.